Good morning, folks. We've got articles today on solar climate forcing, geology, and the galactic current sheet. But we are starting with our plasma happy star, where surface motions and surges continue, but we have luckily managed to go without significant solar flare or eruptive activity. If you recall, we expected the coronal hole stream to impact about now, and that is happening at this time, just settling in at the moment as plasma density and speed are on the rise. Up in the top panel, you can see the expansion of the red and black lines, and those measure geomagnetic effects of the solar wind. Early here in the process, we see us going from little disruption to quite a bit more already, and we'll be monitoring that progress today. We'll also be monitoring the sunspots. They have been quiet, as we said thus far, but have also been morphing around quite a bit. Flare potential still exists, and so we'll have eyes on that today. Let's go to the bajillionth paper on the solar control of the Asian monsoon. Here they were able to notice solar cycles in the tree rings of fossilized samples. Actually the first time we've seen this evidence come from Pakistani territory. It's usually coming from China or India. Hopefully you recall this paper on Yellowstone from just a couple days ago, confirming that it does not have what's needed to erupt anytime soon. While the Weather Channel, which repeatedly says they're actually weather entertainment, proved themselves to be just that by pumping the story in the complete opposite way. Indeed, it's the very same study we just saw that says that worry is the opposite reaction to the geophysical facts. Just well done, Weather Channel. Folks, the Radcliffe wave is a sine wave of stars that's just behind our solar system from the galactic center perspective, and we have seen several past studies indicating that the galactic current sheet is an excellent explanation for it. Several months ago, they had a good agreement using the wavy midplane model with evidence suggesting that recent and transitory processes are in play. That's how you describe the cyclic passing of the current sheet. And today, we've got a new paper on the Radcliffe wave confirming the synchronicity of the vertical distortion and velocities of the structure, and will complement this wavy midplane forcing idea with one on the Parker instability in galaxies. We have seen this several times, but it's always good to get a reminder. The galactic plane is indeed wavy, a current sheet, not just a flat system apart from a brief period of initial condition. Magnetic peaks and valleys quickly set in throughout the system, resulting in the galactic current sheet, which is currently overtaking our solar system and causing all of these changes throughout the planets and the sun, including that Mars awakening story we saw yesterday. We greatly appreciate your support. Get our books on the solar system shift and coming Earth disaster. Watch the disaster playlist. Book your one-on-one -on -one call to discuss your location or whatever else you want. It's your time. And folks, I'd say that if you do want the books, our children's books, or any merchandise to arrive for the holiday, it's best to get that order in this week. We always get terribly busy mid-month and shipping is, well, shipping. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.